what's going on guys welcome back to the channel this is asa studio channel for music producers photographers and so much more here we are in photoshop and i'm going to be showing you how to easily blend skin tones and retouch your photo in this video all right so let's get started but before that if you're new to the channel and you enjoy what the content we post i want you to hit the like button and share and then subscribe all right so now back to the tutorial all right so one thing you have to do whenever you want to edit to your photos just try as much as possible to have an aim of what you want to do and what you want to correct in the photo so that it will make your workflow or work process easier so i'm going to be showing you my workflow or work process and i'm going to go about the edit of this beautiful tree model on the screen all right so let's get started most of the process or procedures are already in the channel i've made videos concerning each and every process i'm using so don't be surprised when i get to use a new process because it's already in the nothing is actually new that i'll be using in this tutorial okay so let's get started first thing i'm going to do i want to correct the skin color so if we zoom in you can see that this place is actually having the normal skin tones why the makeup and the rest part actually make the picture looks odd because they have different skin tones i can't even tell if this is actually light skin or not light skin or dark skin so i'm just going to fix that in a minute so with that i'm going to click on the adjustment layer and then we're going to pick u and saturation and we're going to hold pick on this drop tool which is this hand tool and we're going to sample a place let's sample somewhere that is actually going to you know get those colors so let's zoom in you can see that that particular color has been selected so let's turn on before and then after so one way to amend it is to actually you know move the slider if you want to get enough of so this is actually okay for me i'm just gonna turn it off and on again and you can see that that place is selected so let's move it to the front a little bit so that place is actually okay okay don't want it to be too much okay so this is let's just leave it for this tutorial like this now don't click anywhere outside the box just hit zero and if you hit anywhere outside the box by mistake this is what you do to get it back just click on the adjustment layer you can see it's gone so click on the yellows because it was the yellow that was actually selected and if you move you can see it's actually so what we're going to do now is to make set the hue so it can match the skin tones of the middle one so i'm going to increase or decrease the hue take it back all the way back and then you can see it's actually corrected there you can see the before and after before and then after if you feel like it's too much you can you know bring it upwards so for me i feel like it's i want to make it look natural so this is actually going to work fine like this i think this minus 25 looks good or looks okay but if you want to make things real let's put it at 20 and okay so let's just leave it at 23 okay to make things real and i'm going to decrease the saturation a bit so as to reduce that kind of the feel and also i feel the light is actually good enough for them so if you want to decrease the light you can actually see the difference so i think bringing down the light a little bit also solves some problems so let's leave it at minus 25 so that would do a great job so let's see before and then after <clears throat> a big difference right okay so that doesn't end there we still have a lot more to attend or to do with the photo all right so next thing we're gonna do let's try and duplicate this layer so we have reference duplicate okay so these two i'm going to group them and then create a stamp visible layer holding down control shift alternate e to create a stamp visible layer and i'm going to turn this one off so we have before and then after all right so on this one i'm going to use it as frequency separation so i'm going to rename this one color you can actually skip this step if you already know how to do frequency separation name this one texture i'm going to turn this one off Go to the color and then go to filter blow gaussian blow and i'm going to blow it to some amount that's too much so the more you blow the more the sharpness of the texture layer and the lesser you blow the lesser you get your texture all right 
so i'm gonna leave it just a little bit where we can actually you know picture the face i think seven looks okay to me but if we want to take it up let's leave it at nine then i'm going to hit okay on the keyboard <coughs> go back to the texture go to image adjustment apply image and then i'm going to pick the color layer under the layer and i'm going to change this one to subtract and i'm going to hit okay offset to offset 128 scale 2 i'm going to hit okay on the keyboard and you can see that the texture has been separated i'm going to go to this place and then i'm going to hit make use of the linear light blending mode and then we're back with our photo let's group the two layer and open it back for the texture layer we are using the clone stamp tool while right? for the color layer we are using the mixer tool brush so you already know how to do frequency separation so i'm going to pause the video after the frequency separation and then i'm going to play it back after i've done the frequency separation all right so back to where we were i just did some frequency separation with this one and let's turn on the group layer and then see you can see the changes in the skin that frequency separation all right so after that let's create another stamp visible layer and then this would be the last one we're going to go to camera raw filter and i want to enhance camera raw filter sorry and i want to enhance the highlight and the shadows so as to get more details and to make the picture you know look more stunning and pop out the colors and the rest of all right so here we are in camera raw filter and i'm going to go to the basic tab and i want to enhance the highlight so let's take it all the way up to make the pop i'm going to bring up the white too so i feel like oh i like the way the black is but if you want to crank up the black you can also crank up the black but i feel i think i like it the way it is okay for the shadows i want to bring it up a little to get the brightness from it so like plus five looks good the highlight also let's not overdo that so 20 or 19 okay so white 20 or 19 all right so that's that i'm gonna bring in some texture so i can have some texture on the face oh and not too much to be done yeah let's go back and that's all i would have done so go to um color the mixer and we can decrease the saturation of the magenta just a bit and that's of the purple but if you want to make it i think it's actually looking okay just a little bit minus seven and we can enhance their skin tone with that and the yellows just a little bit decrease the red because it's their black skin all right so again if you want to know work on that you can actually you know decrease the oranges in the image and you can take this one up a bit to get the blacks all right so that's that and i'm going to go to for the last place the calibration and for black skin i like taking this backwards like so just understand and taking the blues forward and this actually makes the black pop out the more I do the other wise for fair skin and we can click on ok for this one and we do some last color grading <coughs> so you can see how far we've done capture one sorry camera of you guys actually trying to make a lens but we found all right so this can be the before and then this if the after all right to make the image pop out the more all right so now we're going to eat one last thing and i'm going to go and select the color lookup and i'm going to lay load in my lot which is the melanin lot all right so we're going to use the melanin the first one which is going to give us this before and after I'm going to load in one more, go again, color look up, and this time around the same thing, load color, but I'll choose the dark, um, the ace choco, and then we have this, 
image right here all right so i feel one is too much so we can decrease that of the choco just like this and for the color look up also can bring it all the way down let's leave it at 90. all right so let's create a stamp visible layer control shift to turn in e and let's see our before and after so i'm going to turn off the rest and then we can see where we actually edited from so this is before and then this is after you can check out our stunning look it looks all right so let's turn back this one's on and i want to trace where that is coming from okay so i feel like the melanin skin is actually too much so i can decrease the flow or opacity because actually clipping on the you know on our face so let's decrease a few right about there and let's turn this one back on let's turn it off so it's just you know adding some you know melanin material in it so compared to this one that's actually clipping okay so we can still take it up prefer on what we want so that looks okay let's give it a 50 percent and let's zoom in so it's not clipping like that i leave it at 39 all right so this is where we're going to stop addicting and if you like the video you can actually share the video and comment what you want me to do tutorial on and also if you are new to the channel don't forget to hit the like button don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to share your comments on what you think about the video see you in our next video thank you